my mess, but I wanted to show you guys this. This is the Hermes book that I got at Marshalls $10. And this is what I found at Target. This whole set was, it was $45, but then the lady looked it up online and it's $35 online. So I'll link it for you guys below. Again, I found it at Target. And this is like all the ones that's in the back of this. Which is so interesting because when you look at these, what's in here is just what's in the box. Or no, we don't have the Louis Vuitton one. Hmm, we're missing one. Yeah, we're missing Louis Vuitton. So that's one thing I gotta look for. Maybe at um, TJ Maxx or I'll try and find it online too, but... How exciting. I'm gonna take it out of the box though, but that's so cool. I love it. My table is so messy, but oh my gosh, you guys, this finally arrived. Oh, I'm so excited. I ordered this a while ago and it took a while to get here only because it was stuck in customs. Oh my gosh. It's finally here. I'm so excited. So excited. Here we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Tuya, Tuyuka Craft. So pretty. Little thing about it, which I can't read. But I will link it for you guys down below. Um, all the details and everything. Wow. Oh wow, that's nice and soft. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh guys, I wish you can feel this. What? This feels so nice and I love that there's felt in the corners. Made in Japan. Oh my gosh. This is the perfect blush color. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That looks so good. Yay! And they were so nice to work with. I had no idea how to order. Um, because like, you know, I thought it's just like whatever they had on their website, but I reached out to them and I was like, is it possible to get a pink one? Like, and I showed them a photo that I found on Instagram and they're like, yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. It wasn't a bad price either. It was very reasonable and shipping was reasonable. It would have gotten here in like two days if it wasn't, um, stuck at customs, but. It's okay, it's finally here and I'm so excited to put all my pretty pens in there. Oh, I love it, love, love, love. All right, I got another package. <laughs> so the other one came yesterday, this one came in today. So I ordered this on Etsy, I forgot who I found this through. There's someone on Instagram. Okay. Hi Charmaine, thank you for purchasing. I hope the pen appeals to you. Let please let me know. Best regards from Munich Bagana. The tip is delicate. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I got rid of my glass the pen from when I first started this thing because it started to get not as fine. Like it's it wrote not as amazing um i mean it was granted it was only like i don't know ten dollars on amazon or something super cheap um anyways i found this on etsy through someone on instagram i honestly don't remember it might have been egg bunny on instagram i think it is um or someone else. i don't remember but it's it looked really really pretty and Instead of buying something that was like $100 that I, I also saw on Instagram, I was like, okay, I'm going to go with this one first because this was only, I think around $40, still pretty pricey. I never thought I would buy a glass lip pen for more than, you know, on Amazon, but here we are. Anyways, it looked really pretty and I just got a clear one. Wow. Okay, first of all, the packaging of everything, fantastic. Like, yeah, this is great. Even said fragile on the box, on the outside. Um, anyways, 
You guys see that? Wow, look at, look at that tip. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. That looks so fine. Wow, you guys, I'm really excited. I can't wait to try this out. I also wanted it because of the end there. It's like a ball, you can do swatches with it. This feels so delicate. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to play around with this. I'm hoping I get to soon. I will make sure to link it for you guys down below. Um, they did have it available in other colors, but yeah, I just went with a clear one. If there was a pink, I would have gone with pink, but I think there was only like a purple and a blue and a green maybe. Um, but yeah, clear is fine. I'm really excited to play with this when I have time this weekend. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Okay, maybe I don't need to put that in there, but this is really nice packaging. Very excited. Okay, this is going to be a quick unboxing, okay? Oh, okay. So that's the swimsuit that I have ordered. I'm going to open this one. Oh, this is from Liam's suitcase. And then this is a swimsuit. I will link everything below. And then we have this package. Everything is on or from Amazon. Okay, so I got this top, which I'm really excited about. Just like a basic beige top. Again, I'll link it below. This is like a cute little turtleneck situation. I got this car captor sakura anime figure i've been wanting this one and it went on sale for like 14.50 or something almost half off um so yeah had to get it <laughs> and then i got the volume 14 for car card captor sakura um clear card and also Volume 10 of the Apothecary Diaries, which I love these both, and I'm collecting them as they release them. So, yeah, I'm so excited about that. And last but not the least is this little package. Look how small this is. Um, so, I'm wanting these cute little car captor sakura like capsule torsos, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And this is the only place I could find that. So this is my first time ordering from this website. And it looks legit. Let's just hope everything is in here. Looks like it's all the pieces. And I will put these together later on. and show you guys. But like, <gasps> car crafters, sakura outfit. I got two of them. There were a few that I really, really wanted. But they have sold out and i also got a washi and that's it yeah that's all that's in this just two figures that i can't wait to put together so that's my quick unboxing okay let's put this together pretty excited oh let me unbox this one it already looks like it's open interesting Interesting, but this is Car Captor Sakura Washi. I don't know, I just felt like buying it. They had different kinds, but I like how this one has Sakura on it in different costumes. So that's that. Cute little thing here, I might keep. <laughs> Kero and Spinel. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Okay. Those are cute. Okay, let's do this one. This looks adorable. And if you guys didn't know, Card Captor Sakura is like my favorite anime. I really love it. But before that, I love, love, love Inuyasha. And then it's Card Captor Sakura. And Chobits. 
There's also like my top five Sailor Moon. Um, what else? I love Demon Slayer. That's like a newer one though. Um, what else is an old one that I like? I don't know. But that's like my top. Inuyasha, Card Captors, Chobits, Sailor Moon. Definitely something that I will go back to. And like I have quite a collection of them. Okay, how does this go? It's just the top. It looks like the top. There's like a fan plate here. So there's a bunch of these online. Um, but yeah, these were the only ones that was available. I'm not sold out, I should say, that I could get my hands on. But like, adorable, right? So it looks like this is the bottom. Oh, I really wanted... It was this one. Look at this. With Kero-chan. Oh, so cute. Even that one. I think they had this one in stock, but I was like, eh, not really my thing. Plus, I got this other pink one instead, which I like better. So, yeah. It's okay. Maybe in the future, I will get my hands on the other one. I did sign up for, like, notification in case, like, you know, for when it does come back, so... Look, look how cute that is. The holes are hearts. Do you see that? That's cute. Okay, let me just push that in there. So cute. Let's make sure that's snapped in. This is adorable. I mean... I'll show you guys my bookcase too though. I have quite a collection for card capture Sakura things. This this just kind of where does this go? I think it just kinda of goes like I don't know how this is supposed to go. Oh it just kinda of sets on there. Okay. It just kinda of goes like that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. Okay, so that's that one. Oh my gosh, I really want the other ones. Just one more. Look how cute this is. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it's backwards. No, it goes this way. It's just hard to snap it in there, Krish. Like, ugh, okay. Okay. And just this one. So this one looks like a lighter gold. It's pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell. Cute. Also, heart. Oh, cute. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. This one doesn't have a top piece, like a, a head piece, just a dress. Oh my god, it's so cute. Wow. That's adorable. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love it. I love these so much. Oh my gosh. And then, I'll unbox this here. Or, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna film a reels for this because it's too cute. Hi guys! Hello, hello. I'm taking glasses off. I just got home and my office is a disaster. Um, yeah, uh, okay, hold on. I was working on orders last night, so I just have like 
shifters and packing stuff everywhere. Oh man, I'm tired. Um, Mia had a grooming appointment this morning, which means I spent a day in Green Bay. Well, part of my day in Green Bay. It's only 12.30, so that's good. Um, a little snack. Um, anyways, I pretty much... Her appointment was at 9. I think I got the call to get her at like 11.30, so not too long. Um, I just spent the, my time at Panera. I had breakfast there. Um, I dropped off at 9, so like 9-ish, I was already at Panera because it was it's really nearby. So yeah, I was just, I just spent my time at Panera. And I had breakfast there, and then I had lunch. I was working on stickers, or designing new stickers. And then I went to Hobby Lobby real quick, and I ended up picking up a few things. Look at this. with a bow uh, it's $8.99 I don't know where it's gonna go somewhere in my office I'm sure it's just really cute um, I like cute little things like this and yeah and, um, hold on garbage so much garbage yeah, I got these for Liam. I'm going to give it to him for Valentine's Day. I just Pokemon figures. He doesn't have these yet. So I'm going to hide that. Um, let's see. Oh, I got these. $7.99. And I finally was able to find this guy. Um, it's just like a timestamp. Like dates like that by Heidi Swap. So... Yeah, and it was only $3.99. Like, these are pretty expensive online, so very happy to have found this. So that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I did come home with a ton of packages, though. So, hold on. I need to unpack everything I brought. Okay. Mia's info. So I just brought my tote bag with me because I was I wanted to bring my laptop to work on designs. I was able to finish only two designs. I mean, I was really only there from um, 9-ish to like, I think I left at 11. And um, I just didn't wanna sit there for forever. I, I think you're allowed, but I just didn't wanna like, I don't know, I just felt like I shouldn't be there for that long. Anyways, I ha also have my weeks, which I didn't get to journal or anything. I literally was just working on stickers. But I did bring these guys with me in case I wanted to. Um, I was going to stay there longer, but I was like, oh, I really want to go to Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, that's what happened. My mouse. But I'm going to, yeah, I brought, like, all my stuff. I just shoved everything in there, like my wallet. Um everything that I usually carry around with so I'm gonna put everything back in my Lululemon bag this is the what is 2L so the bigger one cute right I just shove everything in there for the mince part money goes in the book But yeah, so for the rest of the day, I'm just going to work some more on sticker designs. Hi, guys. All right. Oh my goodness. Before I get into some planning, I kind of wanted to... Hold on. I have so much stuff here. I was trying to catch up with um, my memory keep last night at least the rest of january and then i'll start filming in february okay anyways i have here can you even see liam's stuff for valentine's day that he's gonna pass out in class and i thought i'll put it together with you guys 
So this one I found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It was $6.99, not too bad. Um, and then this we found at Target. And I don't remember how much this was. I think it was 10 bucks. I'm not sure. It wasn't that expensive. Um, but I'm going to make little goodie bags with them. And this is just... So there's 20 in here. And Liam's really excited about this, which is so funny. It says... No, I think it's just the pops in there. Personalize and cut out heart cards. And we don't need to cut that out. But, um, yeah, it's just what they look like. So, good thing I bought this because I, I don't know, for some reason, I was just like, I don't think there's anything in that. And I was right. Anyways, this is super cute. Liam really liked it when he saw it. So, it says there's 24 in here. And then we get these as well. Where's where are the envelopes? Hold on. Oh, it's back here. I don't think I'm gonna put them in envelopes. Let's see. And they said not to um, personalize them to each kid, so I'm just gonna write from Liam in all of them and i also will be using i mean i have these you know from my shop they're just like cello bags so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i have a sharpie right here and i'm literally just gonna write liam's name here. Okay, let's see. One. Okay, I'm just gonna grab. So I'm gonna fast forward this because it might be boring. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. It's been a while since I've actually vlogged. I feel like maybe like a few weeks or something. My goodness. Yeah. Like I know there's a lot of unboxings in this, but it's from like weeks ago. Anyways, today is actually February 13th. I am so behind on a lot of stuff. Um I had like planned on finishing designs last week which didn't happen because things came up and then I was like okay I'll just work on it the next week and then things came up and then this weekend Liam was sick which I think this is the worst fever he's ever had um it was one of those things like it just wasn't going down so we actually ended up bringing him to the ER and I don't know I, I, we've always just gave given him a cinematophen that's always been just the meds that we ever use and we only give it to him when his fever is really high um, or like 102.5 right but I guess we didn't know this um, so but now we do so you don't have to tell me okay but um uh they gave him ibuprofen and they're like yeah he's at the age where you can give that to him now um it should be okay um so they gave him ibuprofen and that actually worked and we're like oh my god so yeah i felt terrible because it's like i wish i knew that i could have or that we knew we could have given him that um, but it's fine. Everything is okay. Like, they even did tests on him and stuff just, ooh, just to, like, make sure that the stomach ache is just because of the fever. Like, it's nothing 
else, you know, so they even looked at his appendix just to make sure and like did some other blood tests and everything. Oh my poor baby, like um he needed I he they gave him IV as well because of fluids. I was very low and just my poor babe. He was so brave though, like yeah, he did really well and we were there for maybe from like 1.30 in the morning until like 5. Like we were home by 6. So yeah, quite a long time. But like while we were there, he was able to like sleep for like 2 hours, which is good. So we just like let him. But thankful that, you know, they kind of, they really helped us. I, I've never, we've never gone to the ER where they weren't helpful. So I'm just really thankful that, you know, it's a, the ER is really nice or good here. Um, but anyways, yeah, thankfully he's better. Um, it was just, it's been a long weekend. Oh my gosh, I hate seeing him sick. Like, I can't, Tom and I can't do anything. Aside, make food and cater for him, you know? Like, I just can't do anything. Like, and also, like, Liam gets really extra clingy when he's sick too. So I really can't leave his side. And not that I want to anyways, you know? So anyways, with that said, <sighs> he's okay now. He's back at school. Today is Tuesday. Yes, what did I do yesterday? I just worked on designs yesterday, which I finally was able to. Like I said, I've been meaning to, but things just came up. Like first it was family stuff and then Liam. And it's just uh, so much stuff happening. And... You know, on top of that, I have, I, I don't know what it is with me. I just always have to have things planned for like a family thing, which I'm glad like the boys like, but my God, I'm so tired. Um, it's just like, I need a weekend where we just do nothing, like absolutely nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, working on designs, I had planned on doing a release for the shop anniversary which is the 15th today is already the 13th okay and I, I finished the designs I'm gonna test print well I'm printing them now and then I'm gonna cut tonight and hopefully tomorrow the 14th I can sneak peek some and then just have it in the shop the 15th and then I plan on doing like a 20% off sale Thursday through the weekend or something just to celebrate the shop anniversary. It's funny because I don't even know how many years it's been. <laughs> I have to look it up. But I'm just so tired. Um, yeah. I feel like my bags like under the eyes are just like... Yeah. Barely slept in the during the weekend. So like this... Like last night... <laughs> or Sunday night and last night, Monday night, I was kind of able to sleep a little longer, but gosh, I'm so tired. Anyways, I have so many cute stuff. I do want to show you, let's see here. So I have a PET tape releasing for this, for this release. And of course, along with that, oh, along with the PET tapes are um, sticker sheets and yeah I I like to test print and cut before release because I want to make sure the colors are good if not then I go back and like tweak the colors you know but all this looks really good so far so I'm really excited um, let's see this is the PG tape I'm gonna show you guys because I feel like by the time you see that? No, I don't know. I think you guys will see this before the release, but that's okay. So this is the PET tape. This is matte. Isn't that so cute? I will, of course, have photos and everything on... It's really long. <laughs> on, the, on the website, but yeah. Very florally. Um... Just super cute. I don't know. I love it. I love this. Um, it's called Tender Touch. And so the collection is three sticker sheets and the PET tape. 
just a small collection to celebrate the shop's anniversary and then i have i think how many is this one two three four five four by six sheets which is like smaller so our normal sheets are five ish like five and a half by six or five by six something like that um like that's a full sheet but then like i started creating a four by six sheet um which is kind of like smaller and kind of like my more seasonal type of stickers is what i like to make that size with um and also i love this the four by six size because you can easily shove it in any planners and it will be good to go like it's easy to bring around with you you know instead of like a full sheet it's a little bit bigger right so this this i can show you everything is still printing but yeah there's different there's five different sheets so this is cherry blossom it's so hard to show you because it's very light and this is clear matte which is like semi-transparent so it's really hard to show this one's easier because it's a little bit darker but this is called latte please so coffee lattes yeah really cute i wanted something for that i love the color scheme of this with the little paint swatches and coffee stains um but yeah this one is just cherry blossoms i've tried to play around with like pink tones along with peachy pinks and greens obviously and i really like that there's like frames in this i don't know if you can see that, like cute little borders so yeah that's really cute i can't wait to show you guys the other ones um maybe after i cut them i can like show you better so you can see them but there's like five different um designs for that so yeah I'm excited that I finally have time to do this. It's been bothering me and I honestly wanted, I have a full list here of like what I wanted to release for this launch or this release. But like I said, I just haven't had time. And I, I think I told you guys this, I'm not one to rush things. Like I don't wanna make stickers just to make stickers. When I'm sitting down making my designs, I have to actually, what is it like you have to feel it like i gotta love what i'm making to actually keep going like even if i i have the idea it's just not i don't know like i'm not feeling it you know i'm not gonna keep going like i'm gonna move on to the next you know so like i don't want to make something just to make like i i the stickers that I actually put in my shop are stickers that I actually love and that I know I will use and you know all that like I don't want to just make it for the sake of like, I have new stickers you know so anyways once I have this cut and printed I'm hoping to share it with you because a lot of you have been wanting me to share it here in the vlogs as well I don't know why I stopped doing that I just feel like I think I said it before too, but like, I just don't want to like always advertise my shop, if that makes sense. Like, I feel weird doing it, but a lot of you actually have told me like, no, we want to see it and everything. So that's what I'll do in this vlog. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys again later. I'm just I'm so tired. And I have so many other things that like I've filmed I don't even know if you guys noticed, like, I haven't been uploading on, like, my regular schedule because I just haven't had time to sit down and, like, edit. I have footage because you guys know I pre-film a lot of stuff, but I just honestly haven't had time to edit anything. I'm pretty behind on my journals, too. It's just been a crazy, like, two weeks, I want to say, so... Anyways, okay, that's it for now. I actually have to get Liam in 10 minutes, so I have to go get ready. And it's it's snowing. It's been so nice lately. And then all of a sudden, we woke up this morning, and there was just, like, snow on the ground. And then by the time, by lunchtime today, it was gone. But now... Can you see it? The snow's falling. It's hard to show you, but yeah, it's it's snowing again. So, 
So I wonder if this will stick. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go for now and I'll check in with you guys again later. All right. Hi, I am back. It is the next day. So yeah, last night I just finished cutting all the new stickers and all went well, which I'm so excited. Everything printed off very, very nicely. I am going to be cutting more tonight with the new paper. And if that goes well, I can put them in stock. So cross your fingers. Um, anyways, I did want to share these with you. So let's do that. I have five different designs for the four by six stickers. So I wanted to do an Easter themed sticker and also St. Patrick's Day for the upcoming holidays. For March so I wanted to kind of be ahead so you can order these now and have it you know in time for next month or something so this is the Easter stickers this is actually the same graphics I used last year except last year I actually did like full-on collections like full sheets but I thought for Easter it's just you just need one little thing right like to me at least like sometimes these full stickers or full sheet stickers have way too many things on them if that makes sense and when it comes to like um holiday themed ones i tend to not use all of it and then i have so many extras if that makes sense so i thought a small one would be better so isn't this so cute so this is our easter themed sticker for this year I love the cute animals and the spring vibes, of course, and there is a little baby cross right there, of course, to celebrate Easter. Okay, and then this is the St. Patrick's Day um, sticker, and it's so cute. I wanted it to be more so whimsical, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I didn't want it to be in your face St. Patrick's Day. So, yeah, this is what I came up with. I love it. I think this is so cute. You can, you know, totally use this for any other um, days because it's very springy. It's just these four leaf clovers are more so St. Patrick's, right? So, like, little shamrocks. So, that's that one. And then... I needed, I don't know, like the coffee stickers sells really well in my shop. And right now I only have um, two, I believe. There's one mini sheet, like a mini deco. It is called Coffee Stains. And that one you guys love. Like people always order that because it's just like something to have like a filler or something. And then I also have Coffee Lover, which is a full sheet of stickers. And I actually redid that towards the end of last year so you get way more stickers in one full sheet um, versus what it was before if that makes sense but this is a whole new one and I call this latte please and it has totally different kinds of coffees on it and it's just so cute and I love the paint swashes the coffee stains I just love the whole color scheme of this one so there you have it. That is Latte Please. And all of my stickers, by the way, come in white matte, which is just a normal white paper, white sticker paper like this. And then this, what I'm showing you right now, is clear matte. So this is semi-transparent. So you can see kind of right there. You can see through it, if that makes sense. So this right here is white matte, this one. And see, it's not transparent. But this one, the coffee one, is clear matte. So there you go. And I've also gotten questions on, can you write on these? Because some of my functional stickers, especially like the dots or the bubbles or something, um, they're printed on clear matte. And the answer to that is yes, you can actually write on these. I write with them all the time with my pencil cleaners, my other pencil pens. Really, I've, I've written with it, even with um, my fountain pens, like I've written on the clear mats and I've never had any issues. So yeah, you can totally write on them, just like how you can with the white mat. 
So, okay, other than that, I have two more sheets here that are kind of more springy because we're entering spring, right? So, this one's called May Lilies. I really love Lily of the Valleys. And this is going to be super hard to show you, but I hope... Oh, there we go. There, my camera is adjusting. It's so pretty. So, this has a lot of baby pinks and peaches along with the greens so pretty so this is me lily and i love how you have frames right there that you can write a special events in and whatnot so pretty and last four by six sticker we have here cherry blossoms because it's almost cherry blossom season and i love cherry blossom seasons okay like my favorite color is pink. So this is my cherry blossom sticker. And again, with the cute frames. And I also added some borders right here. So that's super cute. I love the... The greens on this one is lighter green. It's like a sage almost. I had a lot of fun playing around with colors with this one. So yeah, pinks and peaches and sage. Just so pretty. So that is all of the 4x6 sticker designs that we will have in the shop tomorrow. I can't believe it's tomorrow. Okay, and then this is the new collection. I will be posting a photo over on Instagram. So let me see. We have three sheets here. And again, this matches the PT tape. Maybe I can show you this a little better right now because did I show I think I showed it to you yesterday, right? So this is the PET tape. Like this. I already took the label off, but just to show you, this is matte finish. I hope that's it's so hard to show you. Come on, camera. There we go. Don't mind my nails, okay? Yeah, so, okay. It's really hard to share this with you here. So, just definitely check out the photos that I will be posting on the website and also on Instagram. Um, you can see it better there. It's just the lighting is not... It keeps changing. <laughs> so, okay. Let me show you the sticker sheets though. There's three. So this is Tender Touch 1. So, all right, so there we go. That's looking better. Really pretty for spring. And what you see on the sheets is pretty much what's on the PET tape. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely more on the sheets, but you know what I mean. And then this is the second Tender Touch 2. I love these florals and this is a big frame right there or like a little kind of border. And the ribbons, I love the ribbons on these. And this is the third sheet. So a lot of pinks, blues, and purples. I really wanted it to be colorful, I guess you would say. I didn't want to stick to just one color. So there's also yellows in there. Just really pretty for spring. Another border here. And each graphic on the sheets are different from each other. So nothing is the same. And I really like that. And I really always try to fill up each sheet because that's one thing about me i don't like wasted space so yeah if i can put even the tiniest little bubble in there i will do that because we ain't about to waste sticker paper okay so those are the sticker sheets that will be available in the shop i hope you like seeing that i'm so excited um yeah i i have another release of course in March, I, I kind of do like a monthly release. Let me know if you guys like seeing these in the vlogs. I will definitely try to share, you know, whenever we do releases. Um, if you're wondering what this sheet is, oh, sorry. 
this is um our sampler sheet or like little freebie so last year i would do a different thing like every month or like every release something that will go with the collection that i'm doing but this year i decided i will do a sampler like this it's a little bit bigger and you get kind of more so like decos and i'm calling them samplers instead of a freebie sheet and i'm doing it per quarter of the year so this is quarter one's um sampler or freebie and it's super cute and these are graphics from the stickers like pretty much kind of like one from each sticker if that makes sense the eye design so so yeah you get a taste of like each sticker i guess you would say and it's just super cute so this is our little freebie for the first quarter of the year and of course i will be making different ones for each quarter um yeah so that is it i am off to work on the website right now i usually update or what's it called i put the site the site on maintenance um the night before and then i have it prepped for release day the next day um but yeah oh my goodness i cannot believe that today is valentine's day already we uh, yeah i don't i don't know i feel like i'm doing everything last minute it's fine totally fine i don't really have anything to do today except for this i have to obviously i always do laundry that's always kind of on my list waiting for me to do um i do need to go to the store and pick up a few things um laundry clean the house <sighs> work I need to work on tonight's vlog still which is what you're seeing right now so by the time you're seeing this it's still gonna be wednesday february 24th february 14th <laughs> valentine's day happy valentine's day i hope happy valentine's day everyone i hope you're all having a great day and that you feel extra love today i've never been the one to celebrate valentine's day i don't know i mean when I dated Tom, like, back in high school, he would get me gifts and stuff. But, like, it was never, like, you have to get me something. You have to ask me to be a Valentine. You know, like, I was never like that. I don't know. But, like, now that we have Liam, I do like to make little goodie bags for him. Like, little baskets for him. I don't know. With a kid, you just kind of... It just... They make holidays funner if that makes sense i don't know so that's what i'm gonna do when i go to stores i'm gonna pick up a few other things i did get him like cute like pokemon toys like last week yeah i bought him last week so i'm just gonna go get like candy or something like that today not candy i think i'm gonna get him he really likes those like cute little crackers i don't know um i'll, I'll find them at target but yeah i have to do that but first i have to edit this vlog and the website so yeah that is it oh my god oh my gosh i also wanted to mention you guys i woke up at 4 a.m today and because my dog was like barking and stuff and i'm like what anyways i couldn't go back to sleep so i went on my phone and y'all platinum posted that they are releasing a shape of heart pen and it's so beautiful i'll post it right here it looks amazing i've always wanted to shape a heart but i didn't want the black one and then i didn't want the white one because it's with silver and i was like and then now this and i'm like <laughs> and i didn't tell you guys but like i think when was it earlier like mid of last month i think I don't remember it's, it's been a few weeks because i'm still waiting for the pen it's like on its way here but i found my dream pen and that was like expensive because it's no longer like being sold and it's hard to find and all that stuff and so when i bought that i was like that's it that's it i'm done i have to do like a no buy no spend you know like this is this is a lot even though i did sell um you know sold some of mine and i use some of that money to buy new pens you know i just kind of like rotate whatever um it's still a lot and i'm sitting here like 
I feel like this is a never ending journey. But I want that new pen. And a lot of you messaged me this morning. Like sharing the photo, sharing the post. Like yes, I, I saw it. And I, I, I want it. <laughs> Will I ever have it? Like Shape of Heart pens are expensive. Okay? Like the black and the white ones, I believe they retail for like... 450 here in the US and then I think the cheapest one I could find is over on cult pens and it was 374 or something like that and that's still pretty pricey you know but when you do the conversion of how much it is in Japan it's like 277 something and it's just like that's a lot that's a lot of money so anyways that's going on my wish list just so you know if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> but yeah, just, I don't know. Have you guys seen it? Let me know, let me know. Anyways, okay, I gotta go now. It's already 11 and I have, I, I did I just say I don't have a whole lot to do today? I have a lot to do today. What am I doing? I don't know, it's fine, it'll be fine. I have all day. Okay, okay, okay. So that's it. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. A little bit of everything. A little bit of a mess. But what can you do? So, okay. Bye for now. I will see you hopefully on Friday if I get my stuff together. I, I should have a video for Friday. Okay, bye.